Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to add Amazon's products and import them to your WooCommerce WordPress website. For example, currently you can see my home page. This is my shop, uh, shopping site, which is an affiliate website and it's built with WooCommerce and WordPress. If I show you the dashboard, you can see I have a product section where uh, I have some products already added which are Amazon affiliate product whenever someone uh, try to buy this product they will be redirected to Amazon and uh, it will have my affiliate tag and Amazon will pay commission uh, if somebody buy that product so uh, here I have uh, 1425 products already added and now I want to add some uh, products in a category uh, there is there are some accessories like drones, some uh, remote controllers, wireless controllers for PlayStation, kitchen appliances, uh, LCDs, some Android boxes, and uh, there there are a lot of mixed stuff. So uh, let's go to Amazon first. And uh, please remember that I'm using Google Chrome browser because this extension only works on uh, Chrome browser, not on uh, Safari or Firefox or any other browser. So uh, you will need Chrome browser. And let's search for the things that you want to add to your website. For example, uh, I'm adding vacuum cleaners. So let's type vacuum cleaners and press enter. Now I have a list of products. Uh, I will not get these sponsored ones because uh, these will come on every page. So I'll only get these ones. Uh, let me refine my search and add four star and up to the filters. And there will be only four star and up products. And uh, I think there are some 39, 38 to 39 products on one page. And I'll only need this one page. Okay. So uh, now that we have this URL, we will need an extension, uh, a Google Chrome extension, which called uh, webscrapper.io. So open new tab and search for webscrapper.io. and press enter okay now click on install it will automatically uh, get you to the um, Google Chrome web store on this page uh, you will see add to Chrome button I already have this extension uh, which is here you can see and uh, you can click on these extensions and pin this to the, the taskbar click on pin and it will be shown here so close this and this as well now come back to the Amazon URL right click anywhere on the page and click on inspect element if your inspect element comes uh, below the page then it's okay but it's if it's not uh, if you are opening it for the first time then it might look like this so click here on the three dots uh, not the above one the below one these three dots and click on dock to bottom and it will automatically be placed below the page at the bottom so uh, here will be a new tab called web scrapper and uh, this web scrapper comes because we have uh, this extension so Let's click here and uh, you will see an empty list. I, I have already some uh, sitemaps which I will not use for this video. So let's click on create new and click on create sitemap. Now copy this URL uh, which you already remembered that we have the filters like the four star and up and we have a vacuum cleaners already in the search bar. So copy this URL and put it here and name the sitemap let me name it 11 Amazon create now uh, what we will do we need the 
link of this product so let's get it some selector click on add new selector and type single or url or links or anything so i'll name it as single and these will be multiple because on this page i have approximately 38 to 39 products so click on link click on select choose multiple and leave the sponsored one and start from this product okay i guess i have uh, selected the responsiveness option let me disable that first okay now leave the first three and choose the fourth one and the fifth one all other will automatically be selected till the bottom there are some sponsored links in the middle as well which you can see are already not selected so click on done and we already selected multiple so save it now let's see if we have the data click on data preview and we have all the links okay now click on this single uh, currently you can see the root the root means the url we used on in the metadata here so this was the root and now if you go to single then we are on the single page and open any other page and we will get title price image short description and category if available the sn or the sku for our woocommerce product so first of all let's click on add new selector within the single selector add new selector name it as title or name actually woocommerce uses uh, the title as a name so we will use the woocommerce headers so so that we will not be um, mistakenly add to somewhere else so click on text select and choose the text done if you want to see if the title is getting or not click on data preview and you can see the title is there so click on save selector now on the same page uh, on the same uh, location we need price so click here type in the name of the selector or let's type regular price because uh, this will match our value in the WooCommerce. Let's get this one or get it from here. Save selector, data preview, and we have the price here. Click on save selector. Now we will get the short description, which is uh, these bullet points. Let's click on show more and click on add new selector and name it as short description choose as HTML because these are the bullet points and might have some allies and ULs so click here and choose the whole element uh, these will not be selected because the only visible elements are these ones click on done selecting and save it now let's get the image uh, so choose the first image and then go to the add new selector type in images choose the selector type as image select and then click on the image element done selecting let's see if we have the URL of the image if you want to see if uh, this is correct or not click on go to the URL and you can see this is a, a full size image go back to the selectors and click on save selector now scroll down and uh, we will need one or two more elements like the SN the brand the category you can also have this uh, full description uh, let me quickly have it description from text to HTML click on select and select the whole element so that we can add it to a row in our CSV save and now we will get the brand or the SN or the SKU let's see we have SN here okay type in SKU select text 
and choose this element click on done selecting and save it and let's get the final thing which is brand brand text and choose this element done selecting and save now that we have all these selectors uh, within our uh, sitemap let's go to the sitemap and click on scrap and click on start scrapping I'll only show you for uh, 5 to 10 products because uh, we do not have much time within this video so first it will get all these links uh, you, you just have to leave this running and sit back while it completes but uh, after 5 to 10 products I'll close this and I'll show you how to get this CSV and how to import it into your Amazon uh, sorry WooCommerce store as products and as affiliate products you can also add them as um, external or variable products or simple products but uh, in this video I'll show you how to add as affiliate because this is specifically for Amazon's products okay we have one product now we are on the second uh, let me pause this video uh, and we'll get back to you within a couple of seconds after it gets five to ten products okay I think we have the enough data now uh, after a couple of minutes so click on sitemap uh, I, I will not close this browser if you close this then the scrapping will be stopped and you will uh, have the CSV as final one but uh, currently it's running and I can get the CSV in the middle of the scrapping so if you open the CSV uh, it will be opened in Excel MS Excel you can use any other um, spreadsheet uh, or you can also use uh, Google Docs so uh, here we have 10 products in this CSV now let me show you how you can refine this CSV and um, prepare it for um, affiliate or external products as I mentioned earlier that you can also uh, import these products as simple or variable products but currently this video is for uh, affiliate products okay first of all we will add a new column which is called affiliate or affiliate URL and press enter now we will use uh, this single href uh, you can see the single href is the product link and here we will add our affiliate tag or affiliate ID to this URL so let's type is equal to and then choose single href and then again type and and then double quotes and your affiliate tag now these double quote means this string will be as it is and tag is equal to my tag so this is my affiliate tag and when we press enter it will generate this URL uh, including my affiliate tag if I drag it till end and now let's click on this uh, whole column and copy then right click again on the same column and paste special choose as values and ok now if you open uh, click on any of these URLs and come to the end of the URL then you can see our tag ID is embedded within our URL now the next column will decide whether our product is affiliate or if it's external so let's type the name of this column which is type and now enter and the type will be external which means it will be uh, a product which will redirect the user to an external URL and this is the WooCommerce product type uh, if you want to add simple uh, products then just type simple here and these products will be uh, will be able to add to cart but we are only adding external products because we already have the affiliate URL here so uh, it's done now now the CSV is ready let's click here and click on save as please remember this step is very important 
बिकॉज करंटली आर सी एस वी इज इन यूनिकोड सी एस वी और यूनिकोड टेक्सट फाइल विच इज नॉट नॉट गुड एंड इफ यू ओपन दिस अगेन दिस फॉर्मेट विल नो लॉन्गर कीप सो लेट्स सेव इट ऑन डेस्क टॉप एंड चेंज द सेव टाइप फ्रॉम यूनिकोड टू सी एस वी कॉमन डेलीमेटेड देर आर टू अदर सी एस वी टाइप सी एस वी मैशिन टॉस एंड एम एस टॉस बट वी विल यूज सी एस वी कॉमन डेलीमेटेड सो क्लिक हेयर एंड लेट्स टाइप इन द नेम विच इज इम्पोर्ट एंड सेव इट क्लिक येस एंड नाउ ओपन योर वेबसाइट वेर यू वॉन्ट टू इम्पोर्ट दीज प्रोडक्ट्स सो हेयर इज माई शॉप विच आई शोड यू अर्लियर गो टू द एडमिन पैनल एंड इन प्लग इन्स क्लिक ऑन एड न्यू वी विल नीड अ प्लग इन कॉल डब्ल्यू पी ऑल इम्पोर्ट एंड डब्ल्यू पी ऑल इम्पोर्ट वू कॉमर्स एक्सटेंशन दीज टू प्लग इन्स विल बी रिक्वायर्ड सो जस्ट टाइप ऑल इम्पोर्ट एंड प्रेस एंटर विद इन द सर्च वी विल फाइंड दीज टू प्लग इन्स एंड इंस्टॉल इट import any xml csv file to wordpress we will need this plugin and a child plugin which is a woocommerce extension import products from any xml csv to woocommerce this is extension to that same plugin so let's install both okay this is already installed and this is also installed so now click on install plugins and activate both of them WP All Import and WP All Import WooCommerce Add-on. Activate and click on Apply. Now there will be a menu in the sidebar called All Import here. So click on New Import. Upload a file. and you remember that we already added this file to our desktop by the name of import.csv so let's go to the desktop first and type import and let's upload this file after uploading you must choose which post type you want to import it to so Uh, default is post but let's choose woocommerce products this option will only be visible if you have an active woocommerce plugin installed and you have some products already so click on continue to step 2 okay on step 2 it's just checking that your columns are coming correctly or not it's okay continue to next step 3 now here is the mapping section uh, you have to drag and drop each of these columns uh, which field to go in which field of woocommerce product so let's add the name to the name section the regular price description okay description to the description short description to short description now woocommerce add on set x path and choose the type which is external already sku will be sku which was as in in our case the product url which is an external product we have the affiliate url the buy now button regular price regular price is also added to our csv so let's grab the price now scroll down and in the images section just get the image element to this section we have only one image that is why uh, no need to separate it with comma or anything else so uh, we also have a section called brand you can add it as an attribute let's go to attributes and let's name it as brand and the value will be this brand okay no in variation is visible yes is taxonomy no okay and save this template as 
a name like ABC or what whatever so that you can use uh, the same CSV on this same template you will not have to map it again and again uh, so click on continue and it will automatically save these feeds to that script now the final step is to set uh, a unique identifier which will be auto detected uh, it detected name web scrapper column and the brand column now scroll down the advanced option in each iteration process 20 records uh, this is enough if uh, it stuck then it will automatically reduce to uh, 10 and then 5 and uh, it will continuously be decreasing if the server stop responding so uh, 20 is fine for me let's click on continue and click on confirm and run and this is where this magic happens it will automatically all add all these 10 products and you can see this here uh, currently we have 14 21 products but after completing this as you can see it says uh, successfully added 10 products if you refresh the page it will be 14 22 uh, sorry 14 31 I guess yeah it's 1431 let's go to the product section of uh, our backend and check if all our last products are added correctly so here are the 10 vacuum cleaners which we just added all the prices the categories you can also get the category I forgot to add the category but you can add it and uh, it will be automatically assigned to that category so images are also there everything is good let's go to the front page open any other product whether it's old or new and let me show you if uh, somebody click on buy now button it will automatically redirect your uh, visitors to Amazon and it will also include that affiliate tag ID which you added in that CSV file so if you click on buy now buy product then it will be redirected to Amazon so this product is not available let's get another one let's get actually these fresh products click on buy product and we are here as long as our affiliate tag is there you don't have to worry about the commissions Amazon will automatically manage that or at their end uh, okay I hope you learned something from today's video please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and you will not miss my future videos thank you